Lisa, something that beginner golfers and all golfers should be aware of is pace of play. We all love the game, but we don't want to be out there for six or seven hours. No, exactly. Ready golf. Oh, ready golf is huge. So Hugh, ready golf is when you want to make sure that you are ready to go the second it is your turn to play. I often see groups of people standing behind one person's ball. No, get behind your ball. Now, not ahead of it, because you, for safety reasons, you don't want to get hit. Get behind your ball. As soon as your playing partner is hit, you want to be ready to go, which means you know what your shot's going to be. It's maximum 30 seconds to execute that shot. And ready golf also applies to on the green. Absolutely. I think as you're approaching the green, you shouldn't be reading the green when it's your turn to putt. While your playing partners are putting, you can be down, checking out the angle, finding your putting line, so that the second that they make their putting stroke, you are ready to go with yours. Lisa, a pet peeve of mine is the people who mark their scores while sitting in the cart beside the green they just played. Oh my goodness, that really slows things up. When you're done your putting, you want to hop in your cart, you want to head to the next tee box, talk about your score on the way there, and mark your score on the next tee box. As a beginner golfer, you are going to lose some golf balls. How long should we look for? Them? Holy, by the rules of golf, you have five minutes, but holy cow, it's not the masters out there. <laughs> no, it's not. They're just golf balls. Don't get emotionally attached to them. You're going to lose them. Keep the pace of play moving.